Welcome to the heartwarming world of Highway to Heaven, a TV series that has left an indelible mark on viewers across generations. This show, which follows the journey of a compassionate angel sent to Earth to help people in need, is more than just a series, it's an everlasting symbol of the industry. What enduring qualities make it stand the test of time? As you delve into the episodes, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions. There are funny moments that will make you laugh out loud, shocking twists that will leave you on the edge of your seat, and poignant scenes that may bring a tear to your eye. Each episode unfolds like a tapestry of life's highs and lows, making it a timeless classic. Is there a particular scene or moment that has had a lasting impact on you? The beauty of Highway to Heaven lies in its ability to resonate with viewers on a personal level. Now, keep watching, for there are many more funny, shocking, and sad facts waiting to unfold. We want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this series? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your connection to Highway to Heaven is a testament to its enduring legacy. Get ready for a journey that goes beyond the ordinary, where compassion meets the supernatural. Highway to Heaven, a series that transcends time and space, capturing the essence of the human experience. Step into the enchanting realm of Highway to Heaven, a television series that has woven itself into the fabric of our hearts across generations. Picture this, an angel with a heart full of compassion descends to earth on a mission to lend a helping hand to those in need. This show is not merely a series, it stands as a timeless symbol within the vast landscape of the entertainment industry. In the bustling era of the 1980s, it emerged as a beacon of storytelling prowess, capturing the essence of the human experience. The narrative unfolds like a captivating novel where each episode paints a vivid portrait of life's highs and lows. Prepare for a roller coaster of emotions from moments that will tickle your funny bone to twists that will leave you teetering on the edge of your seat and scenes so poignant they may evoke a tear. What makes it stand the test of time is its ability to resonate on a deeply personal level. Viewers find themselves immersed in a multifaceted journey where compassion intertwines seamlessly with the supernatural. The series goes beyond the ordinary, transcending time and space to create an enduring connection with its audience. As you continue to watch, you'll discover more layers to this captivating narrative. Share your cherished memories and experiences related to the show in the comments below. Your connection adds another layer to its legacy. Inviting you to embark on a journey where the ordinary transforms into the extraordinary, where compassion becomes a guiding force in the multifaceted tapestry of life. Get ready for more laughter, shock, and poignancy as you delve deeper into the world of this series. It is a testament to the power of storytelling, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of its viewers across time. Jonathan and Mark traversed the roads in a 1977 Ford Limited Roman II, an enduring image that became synonymous with their journey. Michael Landon, the driving force behind the series, kicked the habit of smoking in the summer of 1989, a decision influenced by the tragic demise of Victor French due to lung cancer. Despite quitting smoking, Landon continued to grapple with heavy drinking. Season 2 introduced familiar faces from Little House on the Prairie, including Shannon Doherty, Moses Gunn, Matthew Labiordo, and Patrick Labiordo. This infusion of talent from the previous series added depth to the unfolding narrative, creating connections for the audience. The show's simplicity, epitomized by Jonathan and Mark's modest choice of transportation, contrasted with the complexities of life's challenges they addressed. Landon's personal struggles mirrored the imperfect nature of the characters he portrayed, grounding the series in relatable humanity. As the series unfolded, it became clear that Highway to Heaven was more than celestial interventions and divine missions. It was a mirror reflecting the struggles and triumphs of the human experience, resonating with viewers on a personal level. In the backdrop of the 1980s, the show emerged as a beacon of storytelling, eschewing extravagant embellishments for raw, unfiltered narratives. The audience witnessed a spectrum of emotions, from laughter to shock and poignant moments that mirrored their own lives. The presence of actors from Little House on the Prairie and Season 2 further solidified the connection between the two iconic series, creating a bridge for fans to traverse. The collaborative effort showcased the versatility of the actors and the seamless transition between distinct yet interconnected worlds. The simplicity of Jonathan and Mark's journey, juxtaposed with Landon's real-life struggles, added layers of authenticity to the series. 
The combination of relatable characters, genuine storytelling, and the resonance of shared experiences ensured that Highway to Heaven left an impact that surpassed the era in which it aired. Highway to Heaven, a series that unfolded on NBC in the 1980s, faced an interesting casting decision. The network initially sought a younger, attractive actor for the role of Mark Gordon. However, Michael Landon, known for his past aversion to working with perceived rivals, insisted on casting his friend Victor French. This decision led to the character of Mark being rewritten to fit the middle-aged Victor French. One notable aspect of the series was its commitment to providing opportunities for disabled actors. James Troche, portraying quadriplegic Scotty Wilson, played a significant role throughout multiple episodes. Scotty's journey on the show, overcoming challenges to become a successful lawyer, husband, and adoptive father, highlighted the series' dedication to portraying three-dimensional characters with disabilities. Additionally, actors like Tom Sullivan and Robert David Hall, both appearing in various episodes, actively advocated for the rights of disabled individuals in real life. The series, while tackling celestial interventions and divine missions, delved deeper into the human experience. The 1977 Ford Limited Roman II, an enduring symbol associated with the angelic duo's journey, mirrored the simplicity of the storytelling. Michael Landon's personal struggles, including his decision to quit smoking influenced by Victor French's tragic death from lung cancer, added layers of authenticity to the characters. Season 2 introduced familiar faces from Little House on the Prairie, creating connections and showcasing the versatility of the actors in a seamless transition between distinct yet interconnected worlds. In the backdrop of the 1980s, Highway to Heaven emerged as a beacon of storytelling, avoiding extravagant embellishments for raw, unfiltered narratives. The show resonated with viewers, reflecting the imperfect nature of its characters and the struggles and triumphs of the human experience. Through the collaboration with actors from Little House on the Prairie, the series solidified its connection to an iconic predecessor, creating a bridge for fans to traverse. The combination of relatable characters, genuine storytelling, and the resonance of shared experiences ensured that Highway to Heaven left an impact that transcended its original airing, capturing the essence of the human journey. In the realm of TV history, the 1984 series Highway to Heaven took a notable casting turn. Initially eyeing a younger, attractive actor for the role of Mark Gordon, the network faced resistance from Michael Landon, known for his past aversion to perceived rivals. Landon insisted on casting his friend Victor French, leading to the character of Mark being rewritten to fit the middle-aged French. This decision shaped the dynamic between the characters, creating an unexpected but impactful chemistry. Amidst the celestial interventions and divine missions, Highway to Heaven made a commendable commitment to inclusivity. Disabled actor James Troche, portraying quadriplegic Scotty Wilson, played a pivotal role, showcasing the series' dedication to portraying three-dimensional characters facing and overcoming real-life challenges. The inclusion of disabled actors like Tom Sullivan and Robert David Hall advocates for disabled rights in real life, further underscored the show's commitment to authenticity. In a tragic twist that transcends the screen, Michael Landon's decision to quit smoking during the summer of 1989 was influenced by the lung cancer-related demise of his co-star and friend Victor French. However, Landon continued to grapple with heavy drinking, revealing a poignant parallel between his personal struggles and the imperfect nature of the characters he brought to life. As Highway to Heaven traversed the roads in a 1977 Ford Limited Roman II, a somber note emerged from the show's commitment to authenticity. The series, while navigating celestial realms and divine missions, mirrored the struggles and triumphs of the human experience. It became a poignant mirror reflecting the imperfections of humanity, resonating with viewers on a deeply personal level. The series, with its unexpected casting decisions, commitment to inclusivity, and the reflection of real-life struggles, went beyond being a mere entertainment piece. It became a testament to the power of storytelling to connect with audiences through relatable characters and authentic narratives.